Today's video is brought to you by Onyx Off-Road, and I've recently been captivated by the 11 backcountry discovery routes that are available at RideBDR.com. I download the GPX files, I upload them into my Onyx software, and then whenever I open up my Onyx app on my phone, I've got the entire BDR route highlighted in blue. Full disclosure, I've been making plans to hit a bunch of these routes this summer, and it's really nice to have a software that's so easy to use and so easy to follow along whenever I'm off-road. If this is an app that interests you, it's only 30 bucks, and if you use coupon code DIRTLIFESTYLE at checkout, you'll save an additional 20%. Ago, Kelly, Max, and I were down at Cougar Buttes down in Johnson Valley, California. And this week, we're going to be doing the complete opposite of Cougar Buttes. We're going to go find some snow. We're going to get way up in the mountains. And although we have some broken vehicles along the way, we also get to help a bunch of people that really need it. Today on Dirt Lifestyle, we're gonna try to go snow wheeling. It's not charging. I think that's what it is. It's not charging. The alternator is not charging because it's dropping voltage already. The start of today's adventure did not go as planned, to say the least. Unfortunately, Max's Toyota started having more issues and very quickly we were able to determine that it was not charging the battery. After a little bit of troubleshooting with the multimeter and the power probe, we were able to very quickly determine that there's nothing coming out of the alternator. We know that there's a signal that it needs in order to charge, but with the multimeter, we were able to get some voltage readings out of the plug, so we figured it must be a bad alternator. So Max and I loaded up in my Toyota, and then we are gonna drive up to the nearest parts store in hopes that they have one in stock. So uh, Nate's taking the opportunity to be a good Samaritan while he's being a good Samaritan. So he's trying to rescue me, but we saw this Mustang pulled over here, so we're gonna rescue him as well. This Mustang was stuck in the middle of the driveway to get into the gas station. So it doesn't take but a couple seconds, throw a strap on him, pull him out of the way. He didn't know exactly what was wrong with it, but he was dressed in mechanics type clothing. And so I just gave him the benefit of the doubt, figured we'd hook a strap to him and whatever it takes, we'll pull him out of the way and then continue on with the rest of our day. I got a 70 amp remanufactured with a lifetime warranty that runs $159.99. Toyota Thunder? Yeah. Ah! Unfortunately for Max, his Toyota still did not have the Thunder, and it was running on pure battery. So after a few hours of us troubleshooting this with a power probe, a multimeter, we had ASC certified technicians with us in our group. We determined that we need to go snow wheeling because it was already getting late, it was noon, and we haven't even started up the mountain. We parked Max's truck at a friend's house. He hopped in with me, and it was finally time to go find some snow. That looks like we found our snow, boys. There definitely is some snow. Hopefully at higher elevation it'll get a little bit better. Yeah, I think we're gonna be snow wheeling in the dark a little bit on the way back. Because of the unseasonably warm days and the seasonably cold nights, it made for some very slippery snow. We were driving through a few feet of hard pack, so it was nice that we didn't sink, but the top layer was super slushy and very slippery. This was fine until we got to a spot that was a little bit off camber, and then there was definitely some pucker factor.
We've made it to the halfway point, and this is some great snow to drive on if you don't want to have a difficult day in the snow. As you can see here, it's deep. I mean, this is really deep snow, but it's like the perfect amount of water to make it to where it just kind of packs like a couple inches, and then you can just go. So with us aired down, we've just been floating. It's been a good day, other than that one off camber section, which was a little sketch. But now we're gonna be heading back down the other side, and I have no idea what to expect. snow trips I don't think max articulation usually the road is either off camber a little bit or it'll be flat but it's pretty rare that you have ruts this deep and this big but with the Sun trying to melt so much snow away and there being so much running water you get a whole bunch of weird sinkholes in certain sections and this section was pretty gnarly and still pretty slippery You're gonna do a human starfish? I am, but I need to like leap off of a truck or something. <laughs> Wait. We just packed it down. <laughs> Max Powell is one of the funnest dudes I know to hang out with. And it sucks that his truck broke down, but I was so happy to be able to ride with him all day so we could just belly laugh over little things and just act like kids. This is what coming off road is all about. It's acting silly with your friends. However, after we drove a little ways down the road, we quickly realized that there was something wrong. See if it's unlocked. They locked it. My gut was telling me there is more to this stuck truck than meets the eye. There wasn't a whole lot of gear in here. It definitely looked like someone came up to maybe have a little barbecue and then go home. And with it being this stuck to the axles, I didn't see any evidence that it had been tried to get pulled out. I highly, highly doubted that the owner of this Ranger got a ride home with their friends. My feeling was that they either went out to look for firewood or they went out to look for help. And in either case, I wanted to do what I could to help them out and get this Ranger unstuck. I do not recommend trying to break into someone's truck just so you could try to help them out. You can make things worse, but we wanted to see if it was a neutral because I wanted to put a little bit of tension with a strap because it was easy to pull them out. I wanted to make sure I could do that for them. So if they come back with some firewood or whatever, they have a way that they could potentially drive this back home and not have to stay up here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, we are really deep into a snowy mountain and you could absolutely freeze to death out here. 
After we got it in neutral, I tried to pull it out, but it was stuck enough and the rear bumper wasn't solid enough that the last thing I wanted to do to this poor guy is to rip his bumper off. I was hoping that on our way back down the mountain, we would find the owners. Uh, hop in. I, what, I, what I need to do first is uh, we need to clear all our camera gear out of the back of this okay. back seat, and then you guys can hop in with me and we'll, we'll go get you out. About 25 minutes or so down the road, we found the owners, and I could not be more happy about it. Once we saw how unprepared they were for this situation, they were not in super warm clothes. They had dim flashlights. These are someone's kids. So we were very excited to be able to help them out bring them back up to the ranger, get them unstuck. And I'm sure that back at home, this poor guy had someone worried about him and his girlfriend. He's just happy to be going home tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it, it died the moment the rope tensioned. Believe it or not, the owner of the ranger and his girlfriend were not the last people that needed our help. We had run into some hikers earlier that day that were going up towards the top of the mountain when the sun was going down, and I could tell right away that they were going to have a super cold night. Hey, you guys want to ride? Yeah, Hop in. We ended up running across them on our way back down as well, and since I had a freshly cleared out back seat, I gave the three of them a ride back down to their truck because in vans and Air Jordans, Hiking through the snow is not ideal. Ooh, dude, thanks for coming today, buddy. It was a day of rescues. It was a day of <laughs> it was rescues. A day of rescues. <laughs> well, I think that if you're in a position to help people, you should. And we were in positions multiple times today where we could. All so, day. So I'd yeah. rather be in the position where you can help than be in a position where you need help. And I have ne I've needed help many times before. I know this guy has. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So if you enjoyed today's video, thumbs up, all that other stuff. Check out Max Powell. Check out Kelly Muddy Beards. And we'll see you next time. I've got lots more testing to do on this truck.